Welcome to Ria for Tech series. Today we're going to upgrade RAM of HP 15 D8 and TU laptop. So the system comes with 4 GB RAM. We are green with another 4 GB. The system comes with uh, 2400 megahertz speed. The RAM, RAM is having 2400 megahertz. So we're going to upgrade it with uh, 2666. That won't be an issue since uh, the system supports it. So we're going to use a crucial 4 GB RAM. So as you can see, we have to screw, remove the screws. And you can remove the CD drive. And uh, there are a few more screws to remove. One in the front. And once we remove that screw, there are a few more screws that are hidden. So you have to remove those rubber foots. And you can see there are three screws down there. Let's remove those screws. And few more screws on the opposite side. And make sure once you remove it, you have to place the strip back because it has glue and the dirt might get stuck. So you have to place it back. Done. Now we'll move to the next. Right. Now let's remove all those four screws down there. Now we have to place the strip back. All right. Now let's we have remove all the screws now. Now we have the time to open the laptop. All right. So in this case, you can you use a small metal tool to open up and make sure not to put that the metal object too much into the system it might go and touch the motherboard and make short circuit the motherboard so gently remove the back cover the slight pull you have to be careful you have to gently remove the cover All right once you remove you have to make sure you should not touch any part of the motherboard it might short circuit so you have to be careful That's your RAM slot. On the opposite side, you can see already a RAM is installed. We're going to install the new RAM into the the vacant slot. Gently Right now we have added the new RAM now it's time to Close it back for the screws
just make sure seal properly now time to put those all the screws back Once you tighten the screws, just make sure not to tighten the screw too much. Now you have to Put the heat and screws back. Now doing such work it's important if you can remove the batteries that would be better but you can work with carefully without uh, touching those internal components with your bare hands without if you can do that we don't need to remove the battery Now we have placed everything back, the screws have tightened, the grip is already intact, okay, good, it's done, thanks for watching.